Well, all right, musty one. I'm going to show you uh, the measurements now. From that, from the center of that axle to the center of this axle, what I'm going to do is just clip it onto here. And I'm going to bring it all the way down to here. And if you look, the number is exactly 46 to the center of the axle. And I want to show you something else. I'm going to go right to the outside. Oops. Um, just having no luck with this, huh? If I go from the outside to outside here, it's exactly 35 and a half inches. 35 and a half inches across. So that gives me a little room to make a bracket inside of that. And the axles are approximately 46. Oh. 45 and oh no it's actually 46 i was gonna say 45 and 7 8 but it is 46 to the center so that body looks like it'll fit right on there i mean we'll have to talk and work something out or something and see how that goes well, who knows that could be the new the new body on that go-kart so that'd be freaking cool musty one you the man all right. Hey, tubers, what's going on? I'm just chilling here. Just want to let you know, I just came back from the store. I grabbed some stuff for today. I grabbed some uh, some paint here. I got some black. I got uh, a couple uh, primers. And then I got two white, doubled the coverage from the Home Depots, Rust-Oleum. So two, two white, two Rust-Oleum uh, Primer, sandable, whoop, ultimate finish. That's what's up, it's uh, wet, wet sandable or dry, whatever, fast drying. And then I got some black for the rims. And then I grabbed this Bondo. It's uh, I grabbed this one here because it says it's designed for uh, finishing, and it says it's permanent, paintable, no shrinking or not, and it's it's a finishing Bondo, I guess. So I'm gonna try that on the tank and uh, see if it fills in those fi for the final, fills in all the voids and whatnot, and then we'll get some white paint on that. So freaking right. While the maid's uh, making my sandwich, I'll bring this stuff down to the shop and get my stuff going. She's making me, oh, what are you making over here? Oh, yeah, she's making me an egg and and ham and cheese. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, an English muffin. Oh, beautiful. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, what's it? look at that shirt you got on there. Holy. That's a, that's a nice shirt. Where'd you get that? My friend. Oh. Oh, beg my pardon. Oh, then we cheated. Oh, hey, what's really going on? Now I'm to your dizzy shop. It's uh, 10 past noon on, uh, I believe today's Thursday. Freaking right. So I got the handlebars off here. And uh, what I did was I put those blocks under there. You see, that's that's the bottom half of the block. So I got the tops right there. But, uh, and then that's pretty much how it's going to sit. So I kind of drew out what I'm going to cut here. If you can see that, I'm going to cut this around down here on both sides. It kind of looks this. That's, it kind of looks the same. And then this in his side here will be the dash. We all have the toggle switches and stuff or whatever, whatever. You know, just trying. So I'm going to cut these out. And then put it back on and then mount the handlebars on and it should work. I uh, know that's what I'm hoping. So I brought the bag down of all the goodies. Yup, for sure. So I'm gonna have to uh, touch up that tank. A couple little nicks here and there. And then we'll go from there. Freaking right. Well, alright. So I took it back off. 
and you've seen where I drew the lines well I got one side cut out roughly with the with, I used the uh, I just used a cutoff wheel and I went little by little and went around so now I'm gonna I'm gonna put a uh, probably one of these wheels on or something there we go we have a couple of them and uh, I'll clean it up and then I'll cut the other side so we get to that quick and right well all right that's one side look at how nice and clean that is it's like a beautiful edge you don't even know look at that fabrication sweet now i'm gonna cut this one out wow i can't believe i did that so nice not bad for a blind dude eh looks good nice and smooth and nice and smooth and nice and smooth beautiful next Frickin' rice! What's really going on again? It's uh, an hour later. Oh, well, almost an hour later. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And look. Look at that. Look at those cuts. Nice right around. Boom, bam. She's on there. She's underneath. I just got to put the two top blocks on there. And she's good. So that's beautiful. So that's your panel for all your toggle switches and whatnot for the sirens, for the lights and whatnot. And there's plenty of room in there for wires too. Freaking right. Oh, another day. Awesome. Oh yeah. Don't forget. Check out the links below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for uh, subscribing to all my new subscribers. Freaking like that kind. And uh, don't forget, get your you dizzy swag. You know, everybody loves that. And everybody loves my big green tractor. I'm afraid.